This new moon in Aries, conjunct Mercury and Chiron, is an opportunity for healing ourselves and others. Mercury is in formation and Chiron is a healer, so you can now easily get insights to heal physically and emotionally. You can perform this ritual from now until the next full moon. Make your protective circle with salt as salt is associated with purification, cleansing and protection. Salt will keep your energy in check and will protect your home and your environment from negative energies. Aries is a warrior and the colors associated with it are black, grey and red. Prefer to use those colors on your altar or the clothes you wear as you are doing this ritual. To honor the earth element, I used black tourmaline, which balances the two sides of the brain and releases tension, and also bloodstone, one of the crystals of Aries, that will protect your energy and will help you overcome electromagnetic stress. Mer is a scent that goes well with Aries' energy and that's what I used to honor air in this ritual. But you can also use sandalwood or another spicy scent. I used a black candle to connect with fire energy, a moon-shaped candle actually, but you can use any type of red, grey or black candle that you wish. Since in this ritual we are evoking healing energies, I used a container that looks like a medical vial and I filled it with pure water, so if you have anything similar you can use that, else you can use a regular bowl or glass. Now get your tarot deck and take out the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is the card associated with the current decan from 31st March to 10th April and we use it to connect with the cosmic energies of this time but also the Three of Wands represents the future and positive developments that follow our hard efforts. Then place down the Temperance, a card of healing energies and visualize that you are now finding the right ways to heal whatever it is that you want to heal. Imagine pure and radiant water washing over you, cleansing you or the person you want to heal from any negative energies that have been attached to your aura. Finally, place down the sun. Imagine that you are bathing in golden healing light from your head to your toes and as the golden light moves through your body, it dispels and heals all wounds, physical, mental or emotional. And it restores your energetic balance, so that you are healthy and radiant again. Then take a picture of yourself or the person you are healing in this ritual and place next to it a symbolic healing object. It can be a spiral that taps into cosmic energy, a caduceus, or a figuring of a spirit animal associated with healing, like the pig or the elephant I used in this ritual. The elephant spirit animal is known to remove obstacles and gifts resistance to injuries of any kind and longevity. Then stay silent for a few moments and visualize the desired results. Feel the feelings you would feel as if you are already restored. See yourself strong, happy and healthy. When you are done with your visualization, pick up the items you used and thank the Divine Forces for their assistance. Make sure you ground yourself by drinking some water or eating some chocolate. So be it.